Good morning, John. On three. Good morning, John. It's Friday. One, two, three. Good morning, John. It's Friday. So last week I met Hank Green, and I graduated from college. So in proper Vlogbrothers form, I'm going to talk about it in an airport. So <laughs> I got to live basically my dream of saying good morning, John. It's Friday because I went to see Hank Green and the Perfect Strangers and some other really great bands like Harry and the Potters the night before my graduation. So I just kind of thought it was like an appropriate way to finish my whole college career because I just kind of feel like John and Hank Green have been such a source of like inspiration and positivity and I started watching their videos when I was cut probably like 12 years old in middle school. So basically a decade later I met Hank the night before my college graduation and it just felt really special and I kind of wasn't prepared for how emotional I would be about it but like he was so nice I kind of prepared a speech to say to him before I met him because I was afraid that I wouldn't get to say everything I wanted to say but I think I did and he was like really really nice about it I was probably more emotional than most of like the high schoolers that he met that night but he he was awesome they say never meet your heroes but mine did not let me down. So graduation itself was kind of underwhelming. It was just a lot of filing in <laughs> through a gigantic like basketball arena, sitting down for a while, found a couple of friends, we like we hung out, we had some fun in the audience. But so yeah, actual graduation it was so so. <laughs> There's just so many people at my school, it was like 9,000 people graduating. My little ceremony was only probably a thousand? Uh, I don't even know. But the next night was all college commencement and that was a lot more fun. The University of Texas is now your alma mater, the 40 acres, a place you can forever call home. There was like a really great, inspiring commencement speaker who talked a lot about like she always wanted to go to UT because when she was a little girl her dad told her that he wanted one of his kids to like have a good enough life and go there. And it just really made me appreciate like everything I had and all the help I had to get into UT and to actually be able to graduate from it. He was Emily in Planet he went Wedding. To Scotland. Yeah, he went to Scotland. He was in Beverly's wedding. Um... And I complained a lot about college throughout the time I was there, but looking back it was, a, it was a pretty good time. I think commencement was a good way to just kind of reinforce that, I don't know, I guess I'm proud to have graduated. Because no matter where life leads you, you will always be a Longhorn. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hook em horns. And may the audience of Texas always be upon you. So before the all-school commencement, we had a nice little wine and cheese thing at my apartment. And it was nice, because Maddie was about to move out, my roommate was about to move out. So it was kind of like our last hurrah together. And that was really nice. So blonde. Young and he's nice. I mean, Louis, so blonde and blue in the eyes. the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> so there was the beautiful fireworks show that I'd been waiting for for four years, essentially. That was just really lovely and after that I went home to basically an empty apartment because my roommate moved out. So I don't know it was a lot of excitement and then kind of a lot of nothing but on the bright side I started my job like two days after graduation so I didn't really have any downtime to be bummed about it or anything. So basically Life is pretty good. <laughs> Bye. A fork is a fundamental constituent of matter observed in 1968 through deep elastic scatter. We found that protons aren't as simple as we thought. We thought they were solid particles, but they are not protons. In fact, they're made up of three separate pieces. It just gets more confusing as our knowledge increases. Oh,